Hello, people of the internet. Board Zach here. And welcome back to the end of the YouTube video. And in today's video, I am back with yet another update for the LEGO Minecraft world. Now, some of you might notice that yesterday I uploaded a very similar video to this one. Um, but I decided to remove that video because there were a couple glaring differences that you could obviously see that I somehow failed to mention. So I figured I might as well go ahead and remake this video. So yeah, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the changes on the normal part of the world before I show you what's obviously different up on the snow mountain. So in the last video, we did add the ice spikes, but there have been quite a few changes since then. So one thing I changed over here, the birch trees are now how they came in the set. I took some of the green off the front, which I did need to do for something that I will be showing you in a moment, but I took some of this green off of the front and back, which I had the two by two green brick, dark green brick here to add some dimension, but this is actually how they come in the set. And now that the world is bigger and the little details don't matter as much, I actually think it looks a little bit better having some differences in the trees. Some of you might disagree. I actually think it works. Another difference, I added a couple flowers throughout the world and I also changed, so like I added a flower there and there and I kind of changed the colors of a couple of the flowers spread throughout the world. Nothing big, but did happen. Coming in here to the enchantment room, this is something noticeable that I've done. I have added a whole extra layer of bookshelves. So there was only one layer of bookshelves behind the enchantment table, and there was a torch, redstone torch on top of it. But I did not think that matched very well when I finally had another row of bookshelves because I got the ice spikes, which also means I do have another enchantment table, but um, I had another row of bookshelves and I was like, you know what, that would look really good if there was just more bookshelves inside of there instead of that torch that does not make a whole lot of sense. So on the main world, that's basically everything I've changed. Nothing else has really been changed. So I'm going to go ahead and move up here. This area is still unfinished. I don't really know what I want to go here finally. Um, the fire, I don't want it to be temporary. I mean, I don't want it to be permanent. I don't really know what I want to go there. I'm just not a fan of how empty that looks compared to the rest. There will be something like a build going there, probably an eight by eight structure of some sort. You guys will see that soon. So that area is incomplete still, but everything else is pretty finalized. So I'm gonna move, well, before I move to the other side. Um, so I added these new trees there and there, and this is a different build of tree. Than the normal ones this is the uh, little plus this came in the snow igloo set the one back there um, only one but I decided to build two out of random bricks because it adds some much needed variety to the world in my opinion I think it's a really nice touch um, and adds some variety in the trees so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and move to the other side of the world because that's where you can see most of the other details Okay, so starting down here, there are quite a few changes. So the first one is this tree has been added. I also added these little bits of grass that are going upward because I think they add some much needed dimension to this area. It was kind of flat and I think it looks a lot better with um, more dimension to it. This area in here is still pretty flat, but it's just a walking area. So I think that's fine. Um, some grass has been moved around, but nothing big at all. Mostly the trees addition, which I think ties this area together pretty well. Another big difference. Well, you're going to see that difference, but I actually, one of the big differences was that I did add trees throughout the entire snow area, which they weren't there last time. They were only on that side and this ice spikes didn't have any, but I think they look really good on the ice spikes and the ice spikes complement everything pretty well. So I think they really fit in there. So here is the obvious difference over here, which is the winter trading post. So there is the red and white trading post right there. And I've added a white and blue trading post for the winter area. So on the table there is, um, oops, I did not mean to zoom out. There is a potion, an uh, ender pearl, an egg, and a compass. I think this little trading post really ties this area together, also makes the snow mountain community look a lot better. Also, I had a comment on one of my videos asking me 
how a player would get up here. First off, it would go further back, and also waterfalls are placed for people to get up. That's actually why there's so many. So, uh, yeah, I think that's really mostly it for this video. Uh, I don't have a whole lot else to say. I'm really happy with the world. Once again, I want to fix something there. I'll figure out what to put there soon. If you have any recommendations, go ahead and let me know. I'm really having a hard time thinking of what I want to put there. I was thinking of some sort of cabin, but I don't really know. So go ahead and let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot else to say. Uh, thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.